Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. In this video, we'll discuss the third problem of lead code weekly contest 312. It's a medium only problem. So the problem name is find all good indices. So you are given a zero index integer array nums of size n and a positive integer k. So we call an index i in the range of again uh, i lies between k and n minus k good if the following conditions are satisfied. So the k elements that are just before the index i are in non increasing order and the k elements that are just after i are in non decreasing order. So return all, uh, an array of all good indices sorted in increasing order. So first let's see what the problem is saying and then we'll move to the solution, right? So the uh, first array is 2, 1, 1, 1, 3, 4, 1, right? So uh, if it says that, suppose I consider this index, right? So it says uh, and, and k equals to 2. So it says that uh, the, the k elements, the, the previous two elements for this index is in non-increasing order. So you can see 2 and 1 are in decreasing order. So one condition is satisfied. Now for this index only consider the two elements after this. Why 2? Because k equals to 2. Right? And see and these needs to be in non-decreasing order. So you can see it is in non-decreasing order. Right? So that means the condition is satisfied. This is a good index. Right? Let's move to this index. Now consider 1 and 1 previous two index. Right? So they need to be non-increasing order. And you can see they are in non-increasing order. Now consider 3 and 4. They should be in non-decreasing order. You can see 3 and 4 are in non-decreasing order. So this is also satisfied. So uh, index number 2 and 3 are valid numbers. I move to index number 3 uh, and just see. Um, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. I need, sorry, I need to, I, I move to index number 4. So you can see 1 and 1. Just a second. I think I have moved to some other document. Just a second. Um, it has become a long document. I need to create a new one. So yeah, I was saying that if I move to index number three, then what is happening? Just a second. Sorry for this. Let me just change the pen. Yeah, I think now it yeah result. So what I was saying, if you consider this index, so the previous two elements are one and one. So the these this condition is satisfied. They are in non increasing order. And if I consider four and one, so they need to be non decreasing order. However, they are in decreasing order. So this is not a valid index, right? So only two and three are the valid indices, right? So this is what the problem is saying. I need to return two and three, a list of index which, which are good. So uh, just consider if I just write it one more time. So it's two, one, 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 three, four and one. So this is a typical problem. So, uh, okay, let's not go to, uh, go to the name. Suppose I come here. Suppose I consider this index, right? So uh, if this index is somehow keeping the data that what is the maximum length of the prefix array, prefix array, what is the maximum length of prefix array ending here, ending here, which is in non increasing order, right? If this is somehow keeping this data, then obviously I can just a second here. This is creating problem. I don't know why this is happening. Mm, yeah, no. Just a second. Yeah, I think now it will not happen. So I was saying that if this somehow keeps keeps the data that uh, what is the length of the uh, maximum prefix uh, uh, that is ending here, which is in non increasing order, then probably that data can be used here, right? Because when I come to this index, what I can do, I can go to this index and I can see that whether the length that I've computed for this index is that greater than or equal to k or not? If that is greater than or equal to k, I'm good to go, right? Similarly, I can do it from the right side. Let's call it a suffix array, right? So what I can do, um, like for this index, if I see, I can keep certain data here that what is the length of the maximum sub array ending here, if I move in this direction, ending here, which is in non decreasing order. Right. So if I have both these values, so for a particular index, what I need to do for index i, I need to say that prefix of i minus one, if that is greater than or equal to k and suffix of i plus one, if that is greater than or equal to k, then it's a good index, right? Then it's a good index. Now, how do we compute prefix and suffix of i? So that is a traditional dynamic prob programming problem. You you have computed till index i 
you need to compute for index i plus one. So what you do for this index, just see if I if I talk about the prefix array, right? If I talk about the prefix array, then what will be my condition? For prefix array, my condition will be that if nums of i, if nums of i is less than or equal to nums of i minus one, that means my condition is verified because i uh, what I need for the prefix array, I need it to be in non-increasing order. So what I can do, I can do you prefix of i equals to prefix of i minus 1 plus 1. Right? This is what I can do. Now what about suffix? I want the suffix to be in non-decreasing order. So all I can do is for suffix, uh, uh, I, I can say that if nums of i right, is less than or equal to nums of i plus 1, update your suffix. So suffix of i equals to in this case suffix of i plus 1 plus 1 because in suffix you are moving in left direction in prefix you are moving in right direction right so basic stuff take two auxiliary arrays compute the prefix and the suffix arrays and just check this condition and then we are good to go right uh, let's move to the uh, I, I hope the explanation was clear in, in, in case you have any queries do mention that onto the comments yeah so I'll just go to the solution so i've done whatever i have told you i have an answer list um, then i have a pre online number five and six i have a free prefix and suffix array i have initialized my prefix of zero and suffix of n minus one equals to one because obviously the length will be for a single element the max length will be zero ending at there or starting at there right on line number eight what i've done i've calculated the prefix array what i've done uh, i've started from one i go up to n i check if nums of i is less than or equal to nums of i minus one then update your prefix array right else your prefix of i equals to one because this is a single element that is satisfying my condition right similarly on line number 16 i've done it for the suffix part uh, right uh, because again we are moving in the opposite direction so i start from n minus two and on line number 24, you can see what I've done. I, we start from i equals to k, i plus k less than n and i plus plus. So if prefix of i minus 1, so I'm considering index i, right? So for index i, you need to check i minus 1 and i plus 1. So if i minus 1 is greater than or equal to k and suffix of i plus 1 is also equals to k, then you just add it into your answer. It's a good point and then we are good to go. So yeah, this was the solution. Uh, if, if you feel uh, that uh, th this channel is, is useful, do support it by giving up a thumbs up. Do subscribe to the channel in case you have any queries. Do mention that into the comments. I'll be more than happy to revert on each one of them. And yeah, take care. Bye-bye.